To make a new bulk payment, you will always be required to upload a beneficiary list file. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this file in Microsoft Excel. Basically, this is how the beneficiary list file looks like. So let's go to new file and say new. And then let's select a new blank workbook. Under column A on the first row, type in there amount to credit. Then under column B, type there beneficiary account number. Okay, under column C, still on the first row, type their name of beneficiary. And then under D, type their beneficiary account type. And then under column E, type their email of beneficiary. So you have basically drafted your beneficiary list file. As you can see, column A is for the amount to credit, column B for the beneficiary account number, C is for the name of the beneficiary, and D is beneficiary account type. E is for email of beneficiary. Always the first row here is reserved for the column titles. So begin entering your data right on the second row. Enter the amount that you want credit to the first beneficiary, let's say 5000. And then come here and enter the beneficiary's account number. Always, this is the mobile money telephone number of the beneficiary, and it should be entered beginning with 256, then the number of the beneficiary, for example, 752-997216. And then you enter the name of the beneficiary. The name of the beneficiary is not really a must, with or without the transaction will be executed. So, but let me enter for now a name. Let me say David Mukasa. All right. And then beneficiary account type, it's always important that you enter it in capital letters. So by the mere fact that we have entered a mobile money telephone number, the account type becomes mobile money in capital letters as you can see. The email address is not really a must that you should have it if the account you're paying is a mobile money account. You can choose to have it, you can choose not to have it. But if the account number you have entered here is not a mobile money account but rather a your payments account then you will have to provide an email as a must but for now because it's a mobile money account we can choose to leave it we can choose to enter something like example oops example at example dot com dot org so and then you can go and fill in your next beneficiary maybe 40,000 and uh, the account they hold is a mobile money account so it has to begin with 256 and then the telephone number of the beneficiary may be 776-997216 the name let's say we don't want to enter the name no problem the account type is mobile money and then the email, we don't have it. Like I told you, it's not really a must. If you're paying a mobile money account, it's not really a must to have the name and the email. You can always do without them. So you can go now on filling these details, following that format on and on and on and on and on to the very last beneficiary that you'd want to pay in that bulk payment. So once you're done doing this, it's always good to select all the cells that contain specifically on the beneficiary account number and then right click and say format cells then come and select here number and reduce the decimals to zero and say okay unless you do that you realize after saving your file these figures might change other than being two five six seven five two nine nine seven two one six they could change to 
0.25675000 throughout so another thing i would want to caution you about is the type of account when you're creating a beneficiary file it's always important to keep the type of the account the same throughout for example if you have beneficiaries whose account numbers are not mobile money accounts and you want to pay them in a bulk payment i would advise that you make a separate beneficiary list file for them so that their accounts also are consistent as your payments account your payments account your payments account throughout because if you have a mobile money account and then you have a your payments account likely the system may not be able to process that payment and also remember that if you enter here a your payments account and uh, the type of account here is your payments you must give an email address otherwise that payment will not be processed without an email address so once you're done doing this you can now go to file and say save so select a location where you you want to save your file so let's call it um trial 2 and um let's go to the desktop and say you want to save it in payments so we have trial 2 in payments and remember the format here has to be comma delimited if you select any other format it might not be processed so you need to select a format that is csv comma delimited and say save and it will say the selected type doesn't support uh work that contains multiple sheets just say okay and say yes so your file has been saved so basically that is how you create and format your beneficiary list file